greatest performance at the Cup of Live at the 1999 Grammys that changed Ricky Martin's life forever. One month later, Ricky released his platinum-selling La Vida Loca, which held the number one spot for five consecutive weeks. Yes, and now Ricky is bringing all of his hits to his new Las Vegas residency. And as a huge Ricky Martin fan, you better believe I was there for opening night. And it was yet another major triumph for Ricky. He did so awesome, and it was made extra special by who was in the audience, you know, besides me. Were your loves in the audience? Yes, of course. Oh. Always, always. They're oh. always with me. I love that. You see, I'm my kids and my mother is here. My I was father. thinking about me, actually, but that's nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. Yes, the whole family, including eight-year-old twin sons, Mateo and Valentino, as well as fiancé, Juan Yosef, were there opening night for Ricky's Las Vegas residency, all in at the Park Theater at Monte Carlo. But how fantastic is that, knowing that they're in the audience, they're supporting you and cheering down on them? Yeah, it's incredible. Family. My kids are, the, my ki the, the level of criticism coming from my kids is pretty heavy. Really? And I love it. What do they tell me? What do they tell me? They're, they're, they're very serious. You know, last night was better than tonight. Okay, well, be specific. Right, well, well, and, and this song did something that was better last night. I'm like, wow. Okay, and, yeah, you don't and, need the media, you got them. And they're probably right. <laughs> Expect one hour and 45 minutes of high energy, romantic, sexy fun, and you'll see more than Ricky's bonbon. There was some really sexy stuff in there. Like, yeah. when you walked across the screen, they almost naked. I was like, I like this. Profiles. Yeah, we had to sit in, you know, a little shot. I, um, I like this Ricky, but I like this Ricky. It's fun, it's vulnerable, and I think it's yeah. people can relate to that. It's, it's a good thing that you said the word vulnerable, because that's, that's what it's about. We don't, you know, it's... It, it's, it's a very classy show. Yeah, and absolutely. I just want to present my vulnerability. I don't want to wear any masks when I walk on stage. I am here with one message. Mm -hmm. and it's a message of unity, of unity, of of the importance of being yourself, of celebrating yourself. Of uh, I, I just want to let you know that there is no one like you. This Vegas residency, which continues through September, has been in the planning stages for five years, and Vegas can look forward to being one of the three settings for Ricky's upcoming wedding. Do you want like the big wedding, like a big celebration? I know Latinos, we like love to have the big party. No, I want a, a, any excuse to party, right? So uh, we'll do one here in Vegas, maybe one in Puerto Rico, and maybe one in Stockholm, where he's from. I want to do one last thing, because this is one of my favorite parts of the show. Okay. Arriba. Para Por arriba. Por abajo. Okay, ready? Do you know I've been doing this in every tour? And have this you? is the best part, because people just let me. Por arriba. Por abajo. Ricky also told me that he rehearsed intensely for eight weeks before opening night. I can believe it. Everything looked real tight. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up next, Shonda Rhimes and her female.